All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, yeah, it's still morning. All right. It's January 28th. Um, as you seen in the last video, I just threw up the vocabulary for the market cap volume and circulating supply, and I will be throwing it up now. Uh, the current market cap is 218.5 million. The volume is 82.6 million, and the current circulating supply is 114.4 million. Uh, BNT, bank work network token bnt is the coin we're talking about today and i looked into it a little bit it's kind of tricky and i'm just gonna be reading some articles upon how they explain some stuff and why this would be a good uh investment and i'll give my personal uh input uh at the end of what i possibly think it could go up and down or how I feel about the token because I'm learning this the same time as you with me educating myself and educating y'all as well. All right. So about the Bancor Network Token. Bancor Network Token, BNT, is an Ethereum token that powers the Bancor protocol. The protocol describes itself as a fully on-chain liquidity protocol that can be implemented on any smart contract enabled blockchain, period. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know, but I went to their website and their website loads up and it displays this. So for me, I was as curious as you connect the wallet. As you can see, I have my MetaMask wallet up here. I have um, clicked this, which gave me these three, which I have up here aside from the white paper but um and i'm not going to go through what this is they have the bank or bank or x i guess that'd be an exchange uh bank or to where you can vote governance and they'll tell you about that the protection swap data etc so we're going to go ahead and get this white paper out the way or at least the abstract of it the bankor protocol enables automatic price determination and an autonomous liquidity mechanism for tokens on smart contract blockchains these smart tokens have one or more connectors to a network that hold balances of other tokens allowing users to instantly purchase or liquidate a small token for any of its connected tokens directly through the smart tokens contract at a price that is continuously recalculated to balance buy and sell volumes which I guess the Bancorp protocol or BNT is more favored towards um, actual exchanges and um, rather than the common buyer. Uh, let's look. Um, how to stake liquidity in Bancorp pools. Uh, if we click here, I believe this is how do I make money by providing liquidity? When you stake something, a, I'm going to go ahead and put up the uh, vocab right here for staking. Three, two, one, and continue. All right, so the guide on how to stake liquidity and... Ooh, this is a whole tutorial. So, to save time in the video... Oh, this is on medium. Fuck it. Uh, the success of Bancor protocol depends on users staking tokens in Bancor liquidity pools and generating fees from trade volume. Liquidity pools perform autonomous, autonomous peer-to-peer content or peer-to contract token trades and generate fees from each trade. Anyone can provide liquidity to a pool and in return receive conversion fees from trades that pass through the pool. Providing liquidity to a banker pool is permissionless. No central party can block or control this process and is easy for everyday users add liquidity in their couple clicks. Uh, add liquidity in a couple clicks. Um, liquidity providers uh, receive token pools. Oh, hold on. Receive pool tokens proportionate to their share of the assets in the pool and Hopefully, while I've been talking, you were able to look at this and have some understanding to how this works. If you don't, 
go on Coinbase yourself and look it up because this is just a brief explanation. On to the next thing, the beginner's guide to getting wrecked by impermanent loss. Um, hmm. Pause. All right, so I'm just going to continue here because I feel like this is useful information because this impermanent loss thing might be used on another coin in the future. So it's better to have knowledge now. Like my dad always used to say, piss poor planning leads to piss poor performance and knowledge is power. So uh, beginner's guide to getting wrecked by impermanent loss. Automated market maker a MM technology has taken off in spite of one of DeFi's dirty secrets. Users who provide liquidity at two AMMs can see their token, their staked tokens lose value compared to simply holding the tokens on their own. This risk is known as impermanent loss and has prevented made many mainstream institutions for providing liquidity since unlike most staking products, AMMs run the risk of underperforming a basic buy and hold strategy. Some users are completely unaware of the risk. Others are vaguely familiar with the concept, but most people don't really understand how and why impermanent loss occurs. This post seeks to explain impermanent loss in the simple terms of explorers potential <coughs> God, uh, potential ways to migrate it through the AMM uh, design, no COVID. Uh, that favors liquidity providers over arbitrage arbitragers. Um, what is impermanent loss? I'm going to finish reading this and then I'm going to continue on to the next one because your time is valuable to me. Um, if you are more curious, then you could read the rest of this. As you know, it was a click away on the Bancor's website. So back to this. Uh, do, 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 do. what is impermanent loss? Um, simply put, impermanent loss is the difference between holding tokens in an AMM and holding your, them in your wallet. It occurs when the price of tokens aside from AMM diverge in any direction. The more divergence, the greater the impermanent loss. Why impermanent? Because as long as the relative prices of tokens in the AMM return to their original state, where when you enter the AMM, the loss disappears and you earn 100% of the trading fees. However, this is rarely the case. More often than not, impermanent loss becomes permanent, eating into your trade income or leaving you with negative returns. And then they get a, give a little nice, nice graph here. Um, and how to protect yourself from impermanent loss with Bancor, which is the third one. Um, dear Bankless Nation, which is all of us. Impermanent loss is one of the biggest drawbacks for AMMs. One minute you're providing liquidity to a pool earning a juicy uh, annual per year. Or, you know, some shit like that. In swap fees, a <laughs> annual per year. I'm dead. Um, the <laughs> the next, you see, you're losing money due to volatility between the assets you just provided. Uh, annual percentage yield. So, and that's what APY is. If you don't know, check back. Look up APY. You'll find this. Congratulations, you learned something. Same as me. Um, this is the LP's worst nightmare. And LP, for those who don't know, is little people, aka liquidity pool. Liquidity pool is actually the um, the correct term for LP. I, I assume. I'm assuming here. But it makes the most sense. Uh, and solving the impermanent loss problem is no easy task. We've seen different attempts over the past year, different pool weights, or simple-sided, single-sided liquidity. Nothing quite works. Some smart people are pretty certain it can't really be eliminated, but are they right? Or can we eliminate the major deficiency of one of DeFi's biggest innovations? Bancor takes their shot here. Read this tactic and da 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 Here's a video that explains the tactic and shit like that. 
I'm not going into this video because this is a brief explanation by Louis de Savant. It's January 28th. A fucking full moon tonight, baby. Uh, we'll click through a little bit of, you know, what Bancor got going on here. You could swap tokens, you know, at the cost of, you know, what they kind of say is certain gas fees. Here you learn more about Bancor um, governance in their form and different shit like that. You can vote. You know, we all y'all love elections and love voting. Not like my ass. Um, too many damn fucking people and spammers calling me now, and that shit's fucking pissing me off. Uh, I got better things to do than spend time talking to people trying to sell me on some shit. Dead ass. All right, so Bancor, Bancor Exchange, I believe. Da, 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 da. I don't know what I'm talking about here. I'm just learning this shit just as you are. I'm just, just clicking shit. I'm out here clicking shit, Rick and Morty style, you know, just fuck around and finding out. Um, that's today's uh nice little fucking uh interview with Bancor Network Price. Um, my personal beliefs personally, I haven't really heard about Bancor. Seems uh cool, especially as if we're supposed to be making interest on banks and stuff like that and technically any cryptocurrency that you're buying especially on coinbase is for an investment this is not fast money wait a year and then see where your savings and everything is at this is not fast money this is not gme this is not gamestop no don't treat investments as fast money now, i'm saying this because that's the only way you'll make significantly more money then taking that bitch out because oh i times it by two no that's stupid that's the dumbest fucking tactic ever it's an investment it's long term unless you made a million fuck a band if you made a million within two weeks then by all means take that shit out because you could live on less than 10k a year and that's facts aside from that uh bank work is still here it has a use its usability and utility so i'd say it's a good investment it's only at a dollar 92 its highest was two dollars and 76 oh hold on it's, yeah two dollars and 76 cents last year so it's a fairly new token or thing on the ethereum blockchain i might throw a couple of the money at it after i like flip what i got just to see where it might go because it hasn't really exploded yet but even in the um top stories about it this was june of 2019 the last time they really made a post for bancor but it's still here it's being utilized um one thing that i love to bet on the same way gme and amc uh stocks are rising is because they were slept on and their price got lowered so this is the perfect coin i would say throw a couple dollars at well this is not investment advice you almost got me but i would say definitely throw some type of money at it and see where the fuck it goes ten dollars you'll get five bnt hopefully the shit slaps the fuck up because a bunch of people on the internet want to make more money off of what could possibly be a smart investment like we're in a bull bull run this year. This is the year of the bull run for cryptocurrency in general, especially with the regulations and all this other shit going on. This is 13 minutes of a video. Uh, I will try to shorten it as best as I can. And y'all have a great day. BNT. Up or down, we don't know. In the future, we'll let it go. Uh, I just made that up. You know what I'm saying? Side tie rapper. So, you know what I'm saying? That's my side hustle. I'll be rapping and shit. Hey, drop that beat. Drop that beat. Drop that. Hey, everyone. This is Louis the Savant. Um, uh, I'll also go by Rozzy Reviews or Rozzy the Zemi because we're going to be using this outro on multiple channels. So, if you would like to support me, um, I'll probably put Cash App links and all that other shit, but I've helped my mom create a candle business, so I'll put the link in the description below and probably add the, um, uh, what you call it, a uh, uh, QR code so you can just scan the screen and be able to see our website on your phone. So, conveniency. Um, 
this is this scent particularly is uh lemon and lavender which honestly it smells fucking amazing not 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 saying that because um you know my mom makes them but like it literally like it's it's a, a delicate not delicate but like a delicacy like a a, a delicate scent or it's, I, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck i'm saying i don't know what the fuck i'm saying but it, it's called sacred flame um up there right there yes sir uh the next thing is my clothing brand um as of 121 21 2021 um i will still be trying to overhaul my site and create new products but still my clothing brand is zemi i will put that in the somewhere some, some well, okay here we go right here right here i'm gonna put that there and as well as put the qr code um and uh oh shit all right so i have this this product it, it's called mud water it's a coffee alternative um for those who are trying to get off that jitterness of coffee for me it like i bite my nails like horribly because i'll be on coffee and it'd be giving me anxiety but um i'll put the link of this in below just because i feel like it'll help benefit you guys um I've today's actually the third day that I've been using this and I haven't drank coffee at all. Maybe it's because, you know, I'm not getting all that amount of caffeine compared to what this like six grams that I use from this container. Uh, if you, if you really want to see what it is, it looked like dirt, but it ain't dirt. All right. But I've definitely been feeling the benefits, especially today. Everything's been seemingly and feeling great. Um, appreciate you for coming to the end of the video, but if you do would like to support me, definitely either buy a candle, buy one of my clothing items, or hit the referral link below. Y'all have a good day. Appreciate you for even just watching the video. It definitely means a lot to me because it's a, it's a lot going into making a video that you don't see behind the scenes and, and definitely time put in, but, um, thank you guys. Appreciate you, love you, respect you, peace.